Hi there guys, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to add a widget um, and show some data in here. So these widgets are really useful when you are, um, um, maybe you are an agency and you have your uh, client site and you want to show some uh, useful uh, info here, such as a tutorial or some sort of a data uh, that is coming from somewhere else. So... Um, we'll we'll just see how to do that in this video so first things first i will be using a plugin called code snippets in this video to uh enter the code uh, which will add and uh, register the widgets so assuming you have installed the code snippets which is a free plugin let's head to the snippets uh, menu and uh, click on add new and then let's enter a title for it on uh, dashboard widget So in this functions PHP tab, we'll uh, write add action. So add action is a function in WordPress, which is what uh, hooks into the actions and filters in WordPress, which are a, a crucial way of uh, adding or hooking into WordPress features. In this uh, particular uh, feature, uh, we will be using WP dashboard with setup uh, dashboard setup and then the second parameter is our function name which will be test um, dashboard widget dashboard underscore widget now this function uh, will need to write this function uh, and the way you write functions in PHP is uh, predictable prefixed with function and then the function name which is test underscore dashboard underscore widget and then uh, we'll put parenthesis and then uh, curly braces and in these curly braces is what our um, code will uh, go for uh, registering the widget this is what uh, was to hook into the dashboard uh, area this function is what it is doing. It is hooking into the dashboard area. Now we'll uh, use the WP uh, dashboard. There will be add dashboard widget function to register our widget dashboard widget. So um, this function takes in a few parameters. The first one being the id which we want to uh, register for this widget let's call it um, um, test dashboard widget you can name it anything just uh, make sure that it doesn't conflict with any of other existing widgets uh, dashboard widget and the second parameter is the title of the widget and um, so let's uh, use echo underscore HTML. This is this is more like a security function which is being uh, used to filter our uh, uh, string. Uh, don't worry about it. It's not uh, very uh, huge. Like if you even skip it, it's not uh, a big deal right now. But it is when in production you you would uh, most likely use this function. So let's uh, just follow along and uh, uh, we'll be calling it um, test widget. Okay. And the second, uh, sorry, the third parameter uh, is the uh, function name, which will be, uh, uh, let's say, test underscore dashboard underscore widget funk all right now we'll need to uh, create this function as well this is what will render the widgets data so let's uh, define this function called test dashboard widget underscore funk and then again with the parenthesis and curly braces now uh, let's for starters, we will uh, enter uh, h1 and then 
try to add oh hello world sure okay so okay so uh, let me just uh, explain this what the tail is doing so this echo function is what uh, is responsible for outputting uh, a specific uh, uh, part of uh, this line so basically this this is a, a string which also has uh, html in it <laughs> so let's save this and uh, also make sure that uh, you select this only run in administration area just so that it only runs in this area um, okay so save changes and hit activate okay it is now activated now let's uh, open this in a new tab and okay call to undefined function in this dashboard which found echo html okay okay sorry it's this is not a question this is escape html my bad let's hit save changes again and now we'll be able to see the widget as you can see here it is test widget and hello world so this was uh, uh, a really basic way of registering the widget you can also use it to show any kind of data. For example, let's uh, try to show a YouTube video. Let's go to YouTube and uh, fetch a video. For example, let's take this Marcus uh, video and uh, you'll click on share. You'll have to click on share and then click on embed. Then just copy this whole thing. I'm gonna copy it. Imagining you have already done so and now if we come back here and then we use the same echo uh, and in a string let's paste this or uh, better yet we use a uh, single uh, quotes because uh, what um, what is why it, uh, a single quote is required here is because you can't have a um, uh, these uh, in a uh, double code you can't have a single code uh, inside like such as this and if you were to have like uh, double quotes as well for uh, the starting and the ending of the string as well uh, it would throw an error there are other uh, methods such as using a black backslash backslash etc to avoid such cases but let's not get into that just so you know that if you have uh, double quotes inside a string just use uh, single quotes outside uh, for the uh, starting and the ending of the string so let's hit save changes and then we will expect the video right down here so you can see it's overflowing right now that is because of the width that is set in the uh, iframe code we can if you were to set it 480 this will work just fine as a consignor, yes. So um, this was a quick uh, way to add uh, and show a video. But what if you want to show some um, um, some uh, data, dynamic data, which is coming from somewhere else? So let's look into that. Uh, let's remove the video and then we'll uh, call this um, our top users. then this it's safe that we go here you can see our top users but um, we are missing the users basically here yeah. this will be uh, generated dynamically so let's fetch uh, some data dynamically uh, I know a quick site which is JSON free placeholders uh, let's people to that site and then looks at the api route for uh, users which is this one json placeholder type equipment uh, let's copy it and then to uh, let's follow along first and then i'll explain it to you what uh, each of the line does in this code first okay let's hit save we're done for the code part let's hope there aren't any errors 
Okay, there is one therapeutic tree body, of course, because it's not the right function. And we remove tree body. It is. Okay, yeah. As you can see, these uh, place, sorry, these uh, um, dynamic uh, route is being uh, rendered right. We have these uh, values here, such as uh, bread, username, and then and donate. And then you can render everything here, but let's for the simplicity of uh, our demo let we are just rendering the usernames here and this is all dynamic uh, you can see the only code we have wrote here is just this so let's go through uh, line by line um, of uh, each of this uh, code uh, so the first thing is uh, we are uh, we are adding this uh, response variable where we use wp remote get a function which is used to fetch uh, data from an api route uh, such as a JSON um, output. For example, we are using this uh, fake placeholder API, which has this user's route and then gives this 10 users uh, uh, in the output. And then when we get the response, we also use the Delphi remote retrieve body in the same response uh, variable. Uh, we overwrite the response variable uh, using the previous uh, response data and then we retrieve the body of it. This is what the function is to retrieve the uh, body from the response we get. Like, well, let's not get into the deeper details here, but just know that uh, a response which is being retrieved by this WP remote get has more data than just the body, which is this. So we, are, we just want the body, so we are just retrieving the body part. And then when we have the uh, body in the response, we will also have to decode it uh, most times JSON data is uh, um, encoded into strings and then the PHP, uh, the language itself doesn't understand how to uh, uh, render it. So in order to um, render it in its uh, uh, supported uh, formats, we'll need to decode it first. So we'll use this JSON underscore decode function and then you have the same response variable earlier and then overwrite in it. Uh, again, you can you can just write any variable here. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just uh, doing it for the simplicity of this demo. Okay. So the uh, last part here is uh, uh, so as I know already, this is an object uh, or an array. I can simply do this uh, call a for each function, and then in the uh, for each function, I'll just uh, I have just written this response, and then um, as key values. I assume you have some basic knowledge of PHP because that will be required here. Um, uh, given so, you would already know that uh, what this for each function does. Even if you don't know already, you can just search for it and then you uh, get some idea of it. Uh, for each and then what this does is loops over the data which we got from here. Uh, basically this uh, and 0, 1, 2, these are the indexes basically. Uh, so now in each loop we want to display the username part of it, uh, this part. And then we do the same echo uh, function, use the same echo function and then use a string. Now you can see something uh, special going on here such as this interpolation. This is called interpolation in between strings where we want to use dynamic data. So in this uh, we are using this values basically uh, the loop data and then we are uh, looking into the username part and then we are just echoing it uh, and then um, once everything is done you can see uh, the data being output here so there was that was it for this video uh, i assume uh, you got a pretty good idea of how the widgets work actually no one more thing i would like to show you guys that is uh, how you can make the widgets appear at the very top so there are a few more parameters at this WB uh, add dashboard widget. Uh, let's ignore the first few because they are not very important. Uh, they are basically uh, the uh, call callback arguments and the control arguments. Uh, so this one to control these control arguments, etc. But let's ignore them. The first two, let's set them to null, which is the default. And then the third parameter is, uh, I assume it is the context of it which is where the widget should show up uh, in this column in this column or in this one so let's keep it to normal because normal is the first column i think and uh, the second uh, 
so sorry the th last parameter and the uh, seventh parameter is the priority which is uh, what uh, uh, make sure that where the widget is being displayed and like i mean the priority level <clears throat> so let's set it to high by default it is uh, set to core but let's set it to high and what that will do is uh, as you can see here it is being displayed at the very top so that's about it uh, that was to show you how to uh, uh, really use the dashboard widgets at its best and um, I hope uh, this helps you in uh, some way uh, thank you thank you for watching this video have a great day